pregnant and parenting workers' rights to paid leave and accommodations in California. If you are employed in California and need time off work while you are pregnant or taking care of a new baby, you may be eligible for job protected leave and benefits. This video will cover the rights of pregnant workers first and then the rights of all new parents. Federal employees have different rights to leave and pay. A pregnancy accommodation is a change to the way you do your job, like more break times, a place to sit, an opportunity to drink water or eat a snack, a temporary transfer, or more. If you are pregnant and need an accommodation or a change at work, ask your employer and give them a note from your healthcare provider recommending that change. If your employer has five or more employees, they are required to give you an accommodation for your pregnancy that would make it possible for you to continue doing your job. In California, all employers are required to provide five paid sick days per year. Some cities require more. You can use some of your paid sick time if you need time off for prenatal care or for your health. If your employer has five or more employees, your employer must give you up to four months of job protected leave when you are unable to work due to pregnancy, childbirth, or a related medical condition. Job protected leave means your employer must keep your job for you. They cannot fire you or treat you worse for taking leave and they must return you to your same or comparable job in most cases. For a pregnancy with no complications, you can take this leave four weeks before the due date and six to eight weeks after delivery. You can take more time for your health if your healthcare provider says you need it. Notify your employer of when you plan to take your leave. If possible, notify them 30 days in advance. Your employer can require you to provide a certification from a healthcare provider saying that you need this leave. While you are on pregnancy disability leave, your employer does not need to pay you, but they must continue your health benefits. Even though your employer does not need to pay you during your leave, you may be able to receive partial pay by applying for state disability insurance from the Employment Development Department, also called the EDD. State disability insurance replaces 60 to 70% of average weekly income up to a cap of $1,620 per week in 2023 when you cannot work because of your health. Beginning in 2025, this will increase to 90% of income for lower to middle income workers. To be eligible for state disability insurance, you must have paid into state disability insurance, noted as CASDI or SDI on most pay stubs, within the past 5 to 18 months, and you must experience a loss in wages because of your need for leave. Your healthcare provider will need to certify your need for leave. Note that SDI has a 7-day unpaid waiting period, meaning that you will not receive income from SDI for the first week of your leave. It can take several weeks or more to receive your benefits from the EDD after you apply. Citizenship and immigration status do not affect eligibility, although there are some different steps to apply if you are undocumented. For more detailed instructions, see our Undocumented Workers Guide to Applying for California Disability Insurance and Paid Family Leave on the Legal Aid at Work website. This chart shows how SDI works together with Job Protected Leave under the Pregnancy Disability Leave Act. Your employer will hold your job for you while SDI will provide you with income. Now we're going to talk about workplace rights for all parents. Whether or not you gave birth, these rights are available to all legal guardians or parents regardless of gender identity, including dads, foster and adoptive parents, and moms. Most new parents have the right to take 12 weeks of job protected leave from work to bond with their baby under the California Family Rights Act. If you gave birth to your baby, this leave will begin after you recover from childbirth, usually six or eight weeks after your baby is born. If you didn't give birth to your child, your bonding leave can begin as soon as your baby is born. If you are an adoptive or foster parent, your leave can begin as soon as your child enters your home. Bonding leave must be completed within one year. To qualify to take CIFRA leave to bond with your baby with the right to return to your same job afterwards, you must work for an employer with at least five employees, have worked for your employer for one year, and have worked at least 1,250 hours for that employer in the 12 months prior to taking leave, which is about 25 hours per week. Notify your employer when you plan to take your leave. If possible, this should be 30 days in advance. During this leave, your employer generally does not need to pay you, but they must continue your health benefits. You can apply to the EDD for paid family leave to get partial pay for eight weeks. Paid family leave is similar to state disability insurance in that you will receive 60 to 70% of your regular wages and up to 90% starting in 2025 
and need to have paid into CISDI in the last 5 to 18 months. The difference is that you must be losing out on income because you are taking leave to bond with your baby. It may take several weeks or longer to receive your benefits from the EDD. If you work in San Francisco, you may be eligible to receive income from your employer in addition to PFL benefits under the Paid Parental Leave Ordinance. This chart shows how paid family leave works together with job protected leave under the California Family Rights Act. CIFRA will protect your job while PFL will provide you with income. For example, Jay works for a grocery store and wants to take leave to bond with their infant daughter. Jay can take 12 weeks of baby bonding leave through the California Family Rights Act and receives income from paid family leave for 8 of those weeks. Here is an example of how pregnancy disability leave and baby bonding leave and benefits can all work together for a parent who gives birth. Anna works as a janitor and has an uncomplicated pregnancy, so needs four weeks off before her due date and six weeks off after delivery to recover. After that, Anna wants to take 12 weeks off to bond with her newborn. For the 10 weeks when she is unable to work due to her pregnancy, Anna takes pregnancy disability leave to protect her job and receives income from state disability insurance. For the 12 weeks after she has recovered, Anna takes 12 weeks of baby bonding leave, the California Family Rights Act, and receives income during eight of those weeks from paid family leave. If you need to lactate at work, your employer must give you unpaid break times and a safe, clean, private space to pump. The space must have a place to sit, a surface to place a breast pump, and access to electricity, a sink, and refrigeration. Your employer is not allowed to treat you worse because of your pregnancy or because you requested or used any of these rights. Also, note that workers in San Francisco or other cities may have additional rights. For step-by-step -step instructions and written resources, go to LegalAidAtWork.org. For free confidential legal advice on paid family leave benefits and job-protected leave, call Legal Aid at Work's Work and Family Helpline at 800-880-8047.